We have Solana, Solan, Solan, Solana's <laughs> Sol, <laughs> symbol SOL versus the dollar, playing out some hidden bearish evidence right here on the four hour. Would we'll be looking for this one to come back down and test around the bottom side of the range, about a buck 30, uh, buck 36, buck 37 or so. And very likely try front of the short term time frame bounce right there. Now, if this thing does start to break below there, especially on like a four hour closure, let's call it below about 135 and give it a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. Then I would be looking for a greater retracement um, overall, perhaps even all the way back down to a uh, buck 10. Uh, but for right now, okay. Uh, you know, I'd still give it. A, I'd still give it a chance. Let's see where we're at on other higher term time frames. And not getting too much from the two day. Three days right at the ten simple. Probably a bouncy area. If I had to guess right now, it probably does bounce from this region. However, let's go see what momentum also to say, and then come up with some invalidation points and some biases for this one. Daily is going to be down as long as below about one seventy two. So I'm probably not doing anything too interesting anytime soon. Uh, to be fair, you know, if you are looking for the trending move to the upside. Full hour down as long as below about 160. Um, so again, I do think that we're going to test the bottom side of the range uh, short term and then hold your breath that the boo laws do defend uh, and hourly is down as well, but very, 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 very cooked right there. Um, so I do expect that, you know, you got one more run just below 140. Try front of the bounce there. If the bounce does fail, then probably looking a lot lower, probably down towards uh, 100 to 110 um, until that happens. Um, you know, I give it another chance to bounce there and for the boo laws, uh, best case scenario, just kind of trading sideways for a while, maybe, maybe over the next few weeks. And, um, and hey, back above 169, I'd be actually quite bullish on this one. And uh, 12 hour 55 is coming in right around about uh, 138 as well. So I would be looking for a bounce first off this region. If it fails, then, then, then lower. But until then, I'd give it a chance to go sideways. Um, you know, still one of the better charts that we have seen uh, for like pretty much all of summer. But... <laughs> playing out pullbacks is to be expected after you know monumental massive humongous gains from a buck to what the fuck wait is that is that real when this thing went from a buck to 220 uh that's almost 20 000 percent that is insane that is actually fucking insane okay so th this really was the best chart in cryptocurrency land wow um very impressive right there you know i give it the benefit of the doubt first but yeah there you go hopefully that's helpful for solana